Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to this Astro Chat episode which is all about money. Now before I begin, I just want to say apologies I've been away from Astro Chat for so long. I think it's been a good couple of months since I've done one of these episodes and that's because I've been so busy working behind the scenes. I have increased my client session hours, so I'm doing more client sessions, so I'm very busy with those. I've also been working on tutorial videos, which you're welcome to take a look at on my website. And I've also put a couple more items in the t-shirt shop as well, so you can take a look at that. But I have been super busy. I've also been working on another project a top secret project for the pick a card audience so I don't know when I'll be able to talk about that but new things are coming to the channel so I have been really busy but hopefully now I can get back to doing astro chats and more masters as well so you know before I had the aim I'll try and do something like two videos per week I'll see how I go um, I won't have any hard and fast rules but you know I'm always working on this channel basically. But anyway, let's get into this topic. So monetary reset 2022 to 2030. That's the topic for today. Now, I was reading up on some Bitcoin forums about some of the changes that are coming up. What can we expect? And people were mentioning 1971 in a few places. It was quite interesting. And I ended up Google searching when was the last time we had a monetary reset. And the first answer that came up in Google was, and I'll put it on the screen, 1971. It says here, the last monetary reset in 1971 ushered in a new era for the world economy. So I had to investigate this. I had to see what stars were there in the sky in 1971. And off the back of what happened then, can we predict what's coming up now? And I think we can. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through what happened in 1971 and some of the significant years. There are three significant years there. And I can see that corresponding really well to three windows in time that we have got. One of them is on now and the next two are coming up. So why don't we take a look? at the monetary reset of 1971. Now this was when Nixon cut the last of the ties to the gold standard. So America's dollar was tied to the gold standard and that was actually, I, I believe from my research, uh, I found that America was taken off the gold standard in 1933. So it was taken off the gold standard in 1933. A new international monetary system was put in place in 1944. And that's when representatives from 44 nations got together to create this new international monetary system. And then in 1971, Nixon cut the last of the ties to the gold standard. Okay, so now some of you in the audience will be experts on all of this. So please do comment in the comments below because you will know far more than I do about the specifics of what happened. But what I can do is I can take a look at the years and the planets and I can see the conditions that they had then to create these changes. And we're going to take a look at the similar windows in time that we've got coming up. So 1933. America is off the gold standard. What was happening in the sky? So Saturn was in Capricorn. Guess what? We've got Saturn in Capricorn right now. Saturn in Kendra to Uranus. We've got the same thing. Saturn was opposite Pluto. Okay, so again, we've got virtually the same thing there. Yes, Saturn was opposite Pluto. Now Saturn is conjunct Pluto, but they're on the same line. And that's what's significant. So 1933, we had the same conditions that we've got right now. Let's take a look at 1944, the creation of a new monetary system. So that was Saturn and Uranus in Taurus. Okay, Taurus is money. Most importantly, Taurus is Earth. So 
We've also got Saturn casting aspect on Pluto in Cancer. And that's Pluto, yes, in Cancer, but on the 410 line. Okay, similar conditions to today. Then we've got 1971, where the final ties to gold were severed. So that is Saturn in Taurus, Earth sign. And we've got Saturn in trying to Pluto and Uranus in Virgo. So that's really interesting. Pluto and Uranus are there in Earth sign Virgo. So one of the patterns that I've identified here is that we've got throughout these examples, we've got Saturn in Earth. That's really important. Okay, so Saturn's in Earth when these big things happen. Pluto is very often on this 410 line and Uranus is involved as well. Uranus is typically in either an Earth sign or is in hard aspect, Kendra, hard Kendra aspect to Saturn. So let's take a look at the future. What are the predictions? What can we see coming up on the basis of what happened then? What, what are the similar time windows we've got now? So 2020, as I said, 2020 to, to 2023, okay? So this is really the last year of three years where some big changes can be happening to the financial system. So we've got very similar conditions to when America was taken off the gold standard in 1933. We've got Saturn in Capricorn, we've got Saturn in Kendra to Uranus, we've got Saturn conjunct Pluto. Okay, so it's virtually the same as 1933. And this lasts until 2023. So this is the last year of this Saturn in Capricorn section where something really big can happen with money. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what that big thing is. I'm not sure is it, you know, a brand new digital currency. I'm not sure is this a giant crash. I'm not sure if it's getting rid of cash or something like that. I'm not sure what it is, but I know this is the one of the ultimate windows for something big to happen. Let's take a look at the next window in time. So I think the next window in time where something significant can happen is April 2025 to March 2028. Okay, so what do we have going on there? We've got Saturn in Pisces throwing his third aspect on Uranus in Taurus. Okay, we've also got Neptune in Pisces. So Saturn and Neptune, okay, they're not in an Earth sign, but they are opposite Earth sign Virgo. Could this window be, for example, the dissolving of something significant for the collective? I've got here something is being dissolved or made more abstract or less physical. Okay, because we've got Neptune, we've got Saturn, this is in watery Pisces, but he is casting his third aspect there on Uranus. There could be a change, okay? So is this a window where cryptocurrency is becoming a lot more mainstream? And then we've got the final window for change, which I believe is April 2030, <clears throat> April 2030 to May 2032. So this is Saturn and Uranus in Taurus. And then we've got Pluto still in Capricorn. I think that by the time May 2032 comes around, that's really going to be the last big window where an entire monetary system could be changed quite radically. In what way exactly? I don't know. That's what I don't know. I can't say, <clears throat> I can't say what the changes are, but I can say that these are the very good windows of time in which something can happen. So from now until the end of this year, then we've got 2025 to 2028, then we've got 2030 to 2032. These are incredible windows for change when it comes to the financial system. I hope that is interesting food for thought. I mean, look, could something happen 2023 or 2024? Yes, it could. I'm not ruling that out.
But on the basis of what I've seen of the past big reset that we had, astrologically, these are the windows that, that I'd be looking at. So I hope this has been an interesting video. We're about the 10 minute mark. I think this is a good size for a video. Let me know how you enjoyed this discussion. Let me know your thoughts below. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got some insights around the financial system, if you have some insider information, this is an incredible audience, guys. We have got such skilled and qualified people. Just today I was working on one of your charts. You've got a PhD. You're incredibly talented. I'm just amazed by the people that are in this audience. So let me know your insights below. Some of you would would know and of course if you have astrological insights to share please let us know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time